this is Victor and yeah, I'm here with a new weekly painting and this time I'm going to explain how I do the scales like you see here, the gold, um, gold or brass scales like the ones I use for my uh, Stonecast Eternals if you want to make a look, this is one finish and I will do the work on this guy here okay so yeah this is what I want to explain. I will focus on the gold. I will do the frame because I, it's just to tie it up. But here the frame is not done yet. It's not highlighted. So and yeah, and it's going to see. And this can be applied for any scale armor that you're doing on brass or gold, golden color. So to start with that, I will start applying first a, a layer of retributor armor. Okay, you see here. Retributor Armor is one of the last colors that Game Workshop launched last summer um, and I will say that it's a very good one paints very well on top of white on top of um, black covers very well so you will see here and we are going now to make a layer of Retributor Armor on all the parts that we want to paint on gold you will see that maybe uh, yeah, I will focus now here and I will be doing all these parts. Okay. Don't worry if you go a little bit on top of the frame. The hammer, this hammer that is hanging here, you see hanging from this part. Uh, later on, I will paint them on, on like iron color or something like that to make it him mm, contrast with the armor. If I do this detail also in brass will be lost on top of the of the scale armor. So just thin layer and once this layer is applied I will need to play until this is completed by before doing the next step. You will see you will see that in the meantime I will also do this detail here so now this part is done and I will be back once the gold is dry so the next step that we are going to do is we are, I'm going to do the frame of these scales of, of where these scales are and uh, for in that case I will use Naharot Knight but you can use any color that you want to use, um, that, mm, right, that you like it. So this is just a example. But here the important thing is that I will paint these parts to tie it up, to clean and to the limit, to, to have a good limit between wh where the scales finish and where it starts the, this type of frame or the support of the, the, the armor. No? So I will do this not much mystery here, I will just go carefully not to go into the gold and paint this part with uh, night. so I will be doing that and I will be back once this is done so yeah, now I did the frame so the next color I will use is Aglax Earthshade and I will do a wash on the gold part so and this will help us to pop up all the scales and also to do a good, a good limitation a good bar, um, border between the purple and the golden so we are going to apply this on all the parts all over the, the scales try to avoid that you have accumulation of this paint in any part and if you have that if that happens just go with your brush and drain a little bit the, the excess of paint you see you now the scales are much visible and as always when we do a wash we need to well wait sorry until the wash is completely dry. Here I see that the definitions of the scale are a little bit more fuzzy, but yeah, this is that, and now I will wait until this dry. I will let the miniature lie 
a little bit like that to avoid that the paint is dripping down. If you put it more horizontal, the paint will go more into the recesses. So I will let the miniature lying down and I will come back once this dry. So the next step that I will do, now that the air shade is dry, I will use Coelia green shade to do some greenish shades. This will make the metal look a little bit older. So, and I will focus this on the recesses, keeping the, um, the top part with, um, without that. So, and we are going to do this very carefully. We will tint the, the gold a little bit on green. But we want to avoid really to, to tint everything on green. So we want to put very little amount just put it here. I will put it also in this recess and if it looks too green now uh, we are going to highlight then the the scales so don't don't be too concerned okay and I leave as you see I leave this top part uh, without wash look here now we need to let it dry as usual and next step we are going to go through this with Auric Armor Gold. So in the next step I will use Auric Armor Gold. Here we have. Okay, I will use Auric Armor Gold and I will go and I will highlight some scales. I will also use at the same time the original color, Retributor Armor. And I will combine them two, making some scales more brighter than others and not to go too uniform. But the first one that I will highlight are the ones that are more uh, exterior, to say in a way, the ones that are here in that. And I will just go through them and apply Auric Armor Gold. I will now go with Retributor Armor and I will clean a little bit the excess of green on that one. And here I will do the same. I prefer to go a scale by scale with more control than doing the brush. I think you have better definition if you go and you highlight a scale by scale. Here that is very dark on this process, I will go with retributor armor. Just add a little bit. Okay. And this is how I will do like I will do this this the ar the scale armor. So yeah, I will finalize here this tutorial. So this is the principle to do this type of a scale armors on gold, you know, the process I follow. You can do, let me, let me do last step, because normally I do this with gold. I will take, from a scale 75, I will use a speed metal, okay, the name is almost erased from the label. This is a very light silver. A 
and for the most the most external scales you can use a, a small touch of this the ball here can use also a little bit here and if it's too bright I can go back with Auric Armor Gold and soften This can give the last touch. So, and I think this will be good enough at this point. So, this is how I will do the armor scales on gold. So, that's all for this video. Uh, yeah, as usual, yeah, leave your comment below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and if you want to see more of this. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later. Bye.